trying to get to the children inside, but there's too much smoke they can't get to them. There's going to be three units in that building also. Overnight, firefighters rushing to the scene of a fire in Liberty. Those uh, children dispatchers just talked about were rescued, and they are in critical condition. Good afternoon. I'm Dave Sess. Chelsea's off. First News has been following this fire since the call for help went out before 5 this morning. Let's get the latest on the situation. First News reporter Desiree Gosselin is live at the house in Liberty. This fire raged through this house around 5 this morning. Now, the state fire marshal has closed his investigation just about half an hour ago. He told me that it will remain undetermined. He did say that it did start in the basement. Initial calls came in that this could possibly be a drier fire, but he says he's ruled that out. And if they want to find out more information, in, uh, insurance will have to conduct their own investigation. Now, I do want to show you kind of what's going on right now at this scene. There are residents moving out right now, and the construction company has started boarding up this building. They say that it's to keep people out and to keep them safe. Now, we do have a little bit of update on those children that were taken to the hospital. They are still in critical condition, and they are being moved to Akron Children's in Akron. Now, Miraculously, other people weren't in such a critical condition because there were six adults and nine children inside of this structure whenever it started. I just learned that information from the American Red Cross about five minutes ago. Now, let's take a look at some of the video from this morning. The crews, like I said, had a very difficult time putting it out. The fire completely took out this roof. They had to break out windows to try and save people. Uh, one contractor on scene tells me that the basement, you you can see it from the window on the first floor. If you look down, the floor is completely gone until this structure is a total loss. Now, multiple fire departments did respond to this. And our crew on the scene early this morning says that they saw about 10 different departments. They were able to get here rather quickly. From what I can see, it looks like they did a, a hell of a job. Uh, they got to the victims quickly, uh, give them a chance of survival. That's why we stress all the time we need manpower in these fire departments. We're all struggling right now, and this is one of the reasons why we need people. Now, this uh, people are still going to be in and out of this structure throughout the day. I've spoken with the owner, and he says that he hopes, after he hears back from insurance, to hopefully rebuild. But for the time being, it's going to have to remain boarded up because, as you can see, the windows are blown out, the roof is gone, and this structure is—it smells like smoke. You can't—you can't even get away from the smell. So I will be out here throughout the day. I'm going to be speaking to neighbors and the owner, hopefully a few residents who live here. But for now, reporting. Live in Liberty, Desiree Gosselin, WKBN 27 First News at noon.